Hi, Miss Holly's class. I'm happy to see you today. Let's start off with our morning hug. I hope you're not getting tired of giving Miss Holly hugs because I need them. Everybody squeeze tight. Oh, that makes Miss Holly feel so good. I hope it makes you feel good. Okay, we're going to start our day with the pledge. Does anybody remember? Everybody remembers this. We do this at school. Okay, give the flag. Miss Holly's the pledge leader. Yes, every day now. Okay, hand on heart. Right hand, right hand goes on her heart. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good job. Miss Holly kind of has crazy hair today. Y'all seen Miss Holly's hair like this before. I've been outside and going and doing, so I just have it up on my head. How is your hair today? Do you have crazy hair today like Miss Holly? All right, so we're gonna move to our calendar. Does anybody remember what month it is? It's the same one as last time. April, that's right. And April starts with the letter A. So I want everyone to say today is Thursday. So it's Thursday, April. What number are we at today? Pointers going, 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 going. One, six. That would be, does anybody know? 16. 16. So let's count to 16. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good job, Miss Holly's class. Okay. Oh my goodness, I need to show y'all something. Could I leave for just a second and be right back? Okay, everybody hold still. I'll be right back, Miss Holly's class. some caterpillars in the mail. Usually only the four-year-old teachers do this. Miss Melanie, Miss Nicole, Miss Sarah, but Miss Holly has some caterpillars. Some are on the very top and they, we are gonna watch these caterpillars. I'm gonna show them to you each week and they're gonna turn into butterflies. So we'll talk about this each week and see how they change. So I wanted to show you that. I meant to get them in here earlier, but I didn't. So, I'm gonna set those right over there. Okay, now, I know somebody who had a birthday this week, and I didn't talk about it the other day, so her name is Georgia. I'm pretty sure Georgia had a birthday this week, so I wanna sing happy birthday to Georgia, and I want y'all to sing with Miss Holly. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Georgia, happy birthday to you. I hope you had a wonderful day, Georgia. Miss Holly loves you. Okay, we are going to work on the number. Does anybody know what numbers after eight? The number nine. The number nine. Does everybody, everybody should have this piece of paper. And so, I'm going to let you choose today. You can, we're just going to color it. So, you can use your watercolors. You can use your markers. You can use your crayons. You could use all three of them if you wanted to. So, we're just going to color the number nine. Miss Holly, I believe, is going to use her markers and maybe her crayons. So I think I'm gonna lay some crayons out here 
and I have my markers. I think I'll just use both. And we're just gonna start coloring this number nine. And you can color any color you want to. This is a big number right here. We're holding our markers correctly, or holding our crayons correctly. If you're using paints, your watercolors, remember it's water, paint, paper. That's what Holly always tells y'all, water, paint, paper. How's everyone doing? Okay, just color, color, color. And um, like I said, you can always hit pause if you need more time or if you need to go get something. That's okay. So what number are we coloring? Nine, that's right. I'm gonna do all of this section right here. What do y'all think? Am I doing a good job? Am I staying in the lines? I'm trying to. Remember how Miss Holly would tell y'all, oh, color big on something like this. I'm gonna go all the way down. And then I think I'm gonna make my number nine have like a little, change it up and have a pink tail. Now I'm gonna use a crayon. So you just make yours any way you want to, okay? The number nine. We are almost done. We go to the number 10 and then we're finished. So I can't believe it. Okay, this Holly's almost got it. And then when you finish, I want you, once again, we're gonna put nine things on here and it can just be anything that you have around the house. Okay, it can be, you can stack up blocks on here. We can glue paper on here again. You could do stickers. You could do anything that you have. Miss Holly has, I believe, I even have some cotton. If you have cotton, you could put some cotton balls on here. Like You could just take like one cotton, and remember sometimes how we pull it in little pieces and then stick it on? You really would not need probably more than one cotton ball. So... I'm gonna make nine glue dots. Okay, so we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine dots on there. And then Miss Holly, I'm just gonna take this cotton. And remember, you just pull it a little bit. I'm just gonna stick it on. You just have to do that nine times but you could do like I said you could you know if you have something else you want to put on here that would be fine I just want you to do nine things though only nine so let's see how many I have one two three four five six seven whoops eight and nine see I didn't even use the whole cotton ball so we have nine things on our number nine. I think that looks pretty good. All right, the next page that you will have says nine pink worms. So I'm gonna use my pink marker because they need to be pink, they're pink worms. And you're just gonna make some pink worms on here and you can just squiggle them. So I think I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna have my worms go this way. They could go down this way or they could go this way. So I'm gonna start with one, two, three, four. My worms are curvy. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you have nine lines, and then I'm gonna make my worms. I'm gonna give them some little eyes so we know that we have little worms. All right. Did everybody do that? Just take your time and count your worms. So we have the number nine, and then we have our nine pink worms. 
And then next, we are going to write the number nine. It says a circle and a line that makes a nine. So we're gonna start on the green dot. Green means go, red means stop. So get your marker, hold it right here, hold it between your fingers. Okay, ready, start on the green dot. We're gonna make a circle all the way around and a line. That makes a nine. I know Miss Holly's class, I know y'all can do this. Ready? A circle and a line, that makes a nine. A circle and a line, that makes a nine. One more, circle and a line, that makes a nine. Good job, Miss Holly's class. Such a good job. Now, I am going to be, let me clean up my mess a little bit. I'm gonna be sending you some new numbers. I had you color some numbers at the beginning, and I don't remember if I sent you one through six, I believe. And so I'm gonna be sending you seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'll tell you what color I would like for you to color them. And, um, and then next week, we will, play, we will play a game with these, okay? So I'm gonna be sending these to you for, for homework. You have homework, all right? Okay, well, we're just gonna read a couple of stories and I thought we would first read the number nine book, and then we'll finish with a fun book. So, this one says, Nine Bright Pennies. And this, we have the number nine. Nine bright pennies don't seem like a lot. Oops. But that's all Maggie had, and here is what she got. She hurried off to the candy store Ooh, the candy store, that's fun. Bought nine lollipops, no less, no more. Maggie traded the candy to her cousin, Boris. And walked away with nine stegosaurus. Maggie traded those dinos to her best friend, June. It's always having trouble turning the pages and strolled away with nine balloons. Can we say what color these balloons are? I'm gonna point to them and you tell me. Purple, green, pink, orange, blue, green, red, yellow, and blue again. She traded the balloons to Polly Parker and headed home with nine colored markers. Maggie sold the markers to her brother, Reese, who bought them all for a penny apiece. Nine bright pennies don't seem like a lot, but they're exactly enough when you're thirsty and hot. And then this is the page where we would say, can you find? So Miss Holly's just gonna do a couple of them. Can y'all see the page real well? We're gonna find nine pennies. Does anybody see nine pennies? Oh, there they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you wanted to, you could pause this right here and you can look and see how many nine things that you could find and count them. It says nine, let's see if we can find nine toy cars. Do you see them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, Miss Holly's class. Good job, there's the number nine book. Okay, well, we're gonna end today with one of Miss Holly's favorite stories, and I know that you like it too. This talks about colors, but this is Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. This is kind of a singing, dancing book. Now, I know you know this story, so I want y'all to sing and say it along with Miss Holly. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. 
Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Oh, no. Pete stepped into a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He just kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all of the brown, all of the blue, and all of the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? Do you remember? White. But now they're all wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. He says, because it's all good. Miss Holly loves Pete the cat. That was such a fun story. Okay, well tomorrow, I'm gonna see you on Zoom. And we're gonna play a game on Zoom. It's gonna be a game where Miss Holly is gonna show you a color of something. And I'm gonna go have you find that color of whatever you want, if whether it's an animal, a toy, whatever it is, and bring it back to your computer and show it to me. So it's gonna be kind of like a hide and, hide and seek kind of game or a hunting, a scavenger hunt kind of a game. So anyway, I will see you tomorrow. So Miss Holly loves you. Bye-bye.